pain and suffering are back on the table. And welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Anyway, let's just jump into this bullshit. I don't know why I'm doing this voice. Let's just jump into it. Alright, let's just... We're just gonna... Remember, right? That's the Noski time to do the Yuri shit. Yuri shit. <laughs> anyway, another day passes. It's time for another club meeting. Oh, wait. I could skip this. I forgot about this stuff. <laughs> Wah. Oh, anyway. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Ah. I thought I noticed Yuri was reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. I was kind of just waiting for you. Ah, uh, if that's the case, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. I have a request. You make, you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. But there's one thing that can make my reading time any better. It's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. He stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she choose a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a while, my second? Sure. Your hands me up. Put one picture and all such as a check let the kettle. <laughs> I'm plugged in some teacher's house, and now then we go to get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. <laughs> I watch her sim her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves is sim really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs. She appears to be out and appears elegant and methodical. Okay, we have some. We have the water pitcher. Thanks. I'll be right back. Okay. I might as well walk with you. Yeah. Why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Where are you two off to? Huh? Huh? We're just. Yuri is gonna make some tea, so. I suddenly realized how weird it must explain to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Okay. Sorry, just a bit curious. It's kind of a one person job, isn't it? That's. Monica, please mind your business for once. Do you, or do you want to tell me there's anything wrong with helping involve hope in other club activities? Huh? Uh, my mouth gapes. I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Well, let's go, Hope. Uh, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. <laughs> Once in the hallway, she suddenly pulls her head against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How can you see something like that? Yuri? I just... Something about the way she said that made me feel so... Irritated. What's wrong with me? Uh, no, Yuri. I, I think you did the right thing. I was expecting it, but... It's not right. It's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Hope. How come you even know I did something bad? You're, you're being nice to me. Because... Nothing that you do is bad as it makes you seem like a head. Nothing's per nobody's perfect. You have emotions, and we can't always hide them away. But you just amplify things in your head. Your mind turns to a light rain shower to a hurricane. <sighs> no. Wouldn't you hate me for something like as terrible as that? Why do I hate you? I can't see. So I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Uh, um. You lift your head. Oh, uh, I really like being friends with you. <laughs> uh, thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you too. I feel kind of awkward saying that, something like that. I'm trying my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway, uh, yeah, shall we go? Yes. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once you feel the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Hope, do you like long tea? Uh, yeah. I think it's fine. Very well. Yuri says temperature tea gel 200 degrees. Now it's time to get teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm doing tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Oh, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be more impressed. <laughs> Perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she starts humming with herself a little. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was lighting a show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. I decided I would go, I would try expressing myself a bit more. Turns out not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Ha! <laughs> That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Hope. 
It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't know I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for a bus. Oh, I have another request. He might even sit on the floor today. Oh, why's that? It's a little bit easy on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over my desk. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I have... I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. That's a tiny bit loud, but eh. Anyway, I'll, I'll resolve that in the future. I just have back pain regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder what that is. It's mostly, most likely, most, it's most likely because of my, because my, uh, uh, uh my, your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes, I, I have terrible reading posture. So that's what you should look for. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I choose the book in my bag. Uh, I have some chocolate as well. A small bag of white, ch oh, white chocolate. I want white chocolate now. I, I don't know why I automatically said white chocolate. Why I automatically say white chocolate instead of just chocolate. I think it's because... Anytime I see chocolate and I think about me eating it, it's always white chocolate because I I like white chocolate. I don't like dark chocolate. I don't like I'm I don't mind milk chocolate, but I want to eat it often. I like white chocolate the most. And yes, I get it's mostly sugar. Fuck off. I like white chocolate the most. Anyway, it's a small bag of a small it's a small chocolate. It's a bag of small chocolate <laughs> candles that I kept hidden from Siri's candy radar. I take it. Since it'll go well to tea. <coughs> Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups on our sides. As if. As if in sync, we assume the same reposture as last time, each holding one side of the book. Except this time, our bodies even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri's always kind of cute, but... He's feeling less apprehensive. It's almost like she, I can handle it. Your teacup. Your, she retains my teacup. Holding it, it makes my hand... <sighs> holding with my hand that's not holding a book, I end up, I end up pretending that even make it harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. See, you are sent intense reading expression. I can only presume the world around her fade his way. He's the only willpower to focus on reading. After a few moment, minutes, I manage to relax a little. I put a teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I will let go of the book and finish opening the wrapper. You can have much you want. Uh, that's... That's okay, I can't take any. Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, it might get smudged on the pages. Ah, oh, you're right, you're right. I didn't think of that. My bad. I need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She knows this hell has any harder hard time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri started to focus on reading. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate. And held it to Yuri. Then I look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as the situation could be natural. Yeah, but I just, it means I can't stop there. I happily place chocolate in her mouth. Right away. Let's close that, turn that off a tiny second. Uh. Poggers. Put that back there. And just minimize that. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Huh? Your expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Your looks at me, she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Help. Oh. Sorry! I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's... Well... You were just helping. That's something that... Friends do. Right? I mean... Not really in this kind of context, but uh... Yeah. That's all it was. Yeah, then you don't need to stop or anything. Uh, I see. The situation has really gone has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book. 
But I can't help her expression is that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. Let's take another chocolate between my fingers. For this time, Yuri's eyes meet again in mine. How did it come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rim of her breast. I raise my hand. Ah! Just like that, that's like before, Yuri parts lips. What's different this time? Okay, never mind. This is a thumbnail. Turn that off. Because that, because look, that actually looks a bit nice. That looks a bit cute, I'm not gonna lie. I take chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I watched a bit of Jacksepticeye, by what I, bit I mean, like, I watched all Jacksepticeye's old and I know he did the Yuri route. Also, because I just watched the animation. Well, that seems seen. I forgot that happens that Monica just comes out of nowhere. Okay, everyone. Wah. <laughs> I'm doing the warrior voice because fuck y'all. I'm kidding. I know some of y'all actually like doing the wah voice whenever they say the wah. The wah. The wah. But I like, it's funnier to do the warrior voice because just imagine everyone just says it in that way. It sounds kind of funny now you think about it. You know, Yuri jolts back. Sign your poems. Oh, can you help put Yuri? Can you help Yuri put away the piece of tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell's are really broken. I I'll, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. He picks the teacups from floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. And anyway, he's to clean up with so without so much of a word between us. I get the feeling that something neither of us had the courage to speak bring up. Sayori. Oh, I like this one, Hope. It has some nice things in it. That's good. It's better than yesterday's. Uh-huh. Didn't get better at this action then. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are... Oh, wait. Oh, she... Oh, we're just... Not skiing. <coughs> hmm. Well, I can't admit it's better than the last one. Saying you're putting some effort. That's good. I just don't like it at all. I'm trying too hard to be serious. What do you mean by that? Hope that it be all deep... Be all deep sounding and pre or, or to express something. Gonna, it's just gonna go. Just sound like you're forcing it, like you only suck in it. Honestly, don't bother writing poems like this unless you're on Yuri's level. No, see, so stop short of it all of a sudden. Don't tell me, huh? You're, you're not trying to press Yuri, are you? What are you talking about? Keep the voice down. You know, Yuri would love this kind of. Hey, this angsty. Just because she just tells me to write doesn't mean that- I mean! Uh, looks like I'm in trouble. I sound a circle nerve. No, oh, what it is beyond me. I'm so done with you. Great. Not to show to pull my hand back over me. Take your stupid poem. If you're someone else, then just don't show me. Ouch. That's why I care for letting a young girl step on my business. Unless I'm a mind reader, it was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Noski wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Let's see, let's see what you've written today. Gary says, poem with surprise expression on her face. Do you like it? Hope. This might be even better than yesterday's. Did she even pick, how, how did she pick up on this so quickly? Just as she was telling the kind of techniques I was practicing. Maybe that's why. I did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try, try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Your mind, her, even her hands feel sweaty. I, I'm not used to this. Used to what? Uh, I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Here you can breeze and take a collect your thoughts. You know Yuri likes to think before she sees, so I offer to pay that patience for her. Yeah. Just appreciate it like this, I guess. Probably, probably sounds really stupid. But seeing someone motivated by my writing, it makes me really happy. I've seen you never shared your poems before. Yuri nods. I really don't believe it. it. I only really have to write for myself. And besides, people just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Here again, Yuri nods. Huh. You and your close friends? Yuri doesn't want to that. I wonder why. Anyway, you want to share your poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. Give it to you. Ah, oh, yes, the raccoon. Why don't you keep them to yourself? Oh, what was this about? Oh, like, enjoy writing because they're embarrassing. 
You won't make fun of me. Don't you ever... Don't you have anything like that help? Oh, like hobbies. Oh, the hobbies. It's not part Well... Yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has to something like that. The best way I can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I probably would have hate myself. By the way, I can skip. You're good at a lot of things. Listening, writing, so there are many people like, yeah, like you. That's generating a little bit. That, that's how I feel. I never thought I'd feel so comfortable sharing my writing. But now, I almost feel like I'm looking forward to it. It's a really nice feeling. And you're, you're to think for that. It's nothing, really. Yuri smiles steely at me. Just for a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. Oh, that's nice. Monica. This one's good. It feels like you're not getting you're not getting more comfortable with your style. Only getting some of yourself, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, hey, don't you find inspiration in your writing style? Hmm, I guess so. You can't deny she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's totally she's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature. It's like the light turns on inside her. Mm-hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. But I'm not sleeping tonight. I drink a Coca-Cola coffee earlier. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> Who knows what goes in the head of hers? I don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just made that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. Just don't defend her like that. You must be pretty into her. Huh? Uh, you completely misunderstood. <laughs> Calm down, I'm just kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, fictional anyway. <laughs> Monica kind of whispers that last part of me. Just a hunch, but... Well... There's nothing... It's not, it's not really anything wrong with that. I should know. I totally don't have posters of my fear Doki Doki character. Uh, uh, I'm gonna shut the fuck up now. Oh, I know. I'm just saying. But anyway. Okay, I, I always wonder, why can't I skip this? Is there a thing? Maybe, maybe I don't skip it and I get a new picture? I'm not fucking sure. Let's see. I just, let's just click over this... Anyway, how's everyone's days been? Um, my f the day I'm recording is literally getting tonight. I was planning to record a bunch of videos, but <coughs> life took over, so I didn't get a chance to. You could, literally today I went to I had to walk all the way to Walmart. So, well, I'm just having a conversation with you guys, by the way. At this point, <laughs> but no, yeah. <laughs> um, earlier I literally walked to Walmart today. And you're wondering why? It's because of my family's coming home. Well, they came home earlier. Well, it's 11 o'clock, that's why. But, yeah, they came home earlier. By the way, uh, if you, someone can try to guess if I'm... You can tell when I click. If you can't hear my clicking, it's, um... It's, I'm actually, like, clicking all my myself. Like, anyway, yeah. So, uh, my family came home earlier, uh, they... From, they were in Oregon for the past week, so I, that's why I was gonna say I had a lot of time to record, but I never got to. So, yeah, that's... That was a pain in the ass, not gonna lie. My throat hurts, by the way. And, yeah, let's see. I am someone who... Um, yeah, no, my family went to Oregon. Uh, they just came back today from Oregon. So, yeah, that's... That's what we. That's what I was dealing with. I went to Walmart, bought some stuff. I was about to buy a new charger. I. I always. I got. Sorry. I got distracted, because I'm an easily distracted son of a bitch. And 
Anyway, uh, I should mention one thing. I'm trans. I, I, even though I sound like a boy, I'm actually a girl. So, yeah. I've been seeing he and... I, I don't really mind it. I just, I just want to make it known. If you don't know, there's a, the girl character in in my profile picture or in the in the banner that's supposed to be who I am. So, yeah. I don't know why I do... I do random voices. I My whole thing is I do voices... That's kind of shit, anyway. Hey, anyway, let's just get back to this. She just asked if we can walk with Siri or with her or if we go with Yuri. Which, I did this with the Natsuki thing. I'm going to do this again with the Yuri thing. Walking on with Yuri, huh? Why does that thought make my heart pound? I mean, she had how far it is for her to socialize. It'd be awful to turn it down, so. Isn't she so beautiful and smart? Oh, uh, uh, This has nothing to do with what I just said. Uh, you admit it. Jeez. Not a point I expected it something that's never gonna happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore. Thank you, Yuri. I can't forget what you're seeing in this little head you're I know. Sorry. Everyone is different. No one in the club is replaced with you. Hmm. You say so. Obviously trolls off. And then I am left feeling awkward. Kind of fall of trapping with such a quick flush. Can't just lie to her. Or something that makes her happy. I would hate to take that word. Sorry, I admit that there's no point speculating. Then again, the festival's a few days away. Who knows what'll happen that time? Only Chan. Uh, unacquired it. Damn it! Damn it! I, I'm thinking I have a chance to get in the. In the, you know. In the, um, second act. I can get Yuri's poem. And we save again. Anyway, that's the end of that. We can leave the DLC. We go to the desktop. We got a new side story. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, self love. I fucking told you that one was a. Uh... It's gonna be Yuri and Natsuki one. And I got some new pictures from IC. Uh, what's this poem again? Inquire all of Siri's other poems. I want to try and make it over now. Alright, second so poem for Yuri. What's this one? Oh, shit! Right, all three poems from Yuri. Oh, I thought we could get something out of, like, Nods keeping locked away. But now we're in the shit. Oh, I clicked all the I clicked all that time for nothing. Some bullshit. No mail yet. What's the mail thing in the system for anyway? Uh what's my Yeah, collected thirty six percent. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. I'll see you guys next time. And next time actually because we did all of the the videos we next one next time we do on the understanding sub well the understanding science story. Anything is watching, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.